All right, today we're gonna make a thing for my truck down here. So this little space down here, I wanna make not, I wouldn't say a glove box, but some kind of platform that rides down here and kind of sits on this piece in front of my third seat and behind my control panel thingy. I've got chargers, I've got USB chargers right here, and this is just kind of wasted space where I could probably put my phone. Um, my big giant water bottle I carry around doesn't fit in these cup holders, so I wanna make a cup holder for that. And I just think it would be a cool little accessory for me to practice on my laser, try and make something that utilizes this space a little bit better than just kind of empty. So the first thing I wanna do is take some measurements. So I know like say from this seat to here, how big that is, how tall we can get away with and how wide it needs to be. All right. I'm gonna attempt to draw it on here. This is just foam board. I'm gonna attempt to draw it on here and then cut it out. Here's my rough sketch. I want something like that to be on here and have all the right dimensions. This way I can shave off pieces if I don't like it. So, we're close. I'm gonna take a little off of here. And take a little off here. Boom. Okay, let's try that. All right, I'm happy with that. So, I guess step two, cut these out. All right, I got ahead of myself a little bit. Before I cut this out, while I have foam board and the mat out, this is gonna be the top piece. So, like you saw that on the side, this is going to get screwed to the top. And this is where my cup holders and I guess little storage spots are gonna be. I wanna just loosely sketch out what's gonna go on here. Um, and so I have, I want two water bottle holders for the big water bottles because I have two for say smaller coffee cups. And then I think I want a spot for my phone and just kind of maybe a catch-all. I don't know, that's why I have this out. I'm gonna kind of play around with it. I'm gonna do it in pencil and then set this aside once I figured out a nice final drawing for that. All right, so here's what I've come up with. A couple Yeti cup holders. I wrote GMC right there. I might do like a little bit of engraving. I don't know, I might put the GMC logo or something cute like that. Maybe a little spot for an iPhone, a catch-all. I'm thinking the camera I'm actually shooting on right now could drop in there. And then maybe a couple holes for pens or something. This is the size I think I've decided uh, for a, you know, a cup holder for that thing. I'm giving myself a little bit of leeway so it's not too tight. And then I've marked out, which I'll mark on CAD, but there's holes for screwing the top plate down through the wood. Now, speaking of that, let me show you what I have for materials. So my side pieces, right? The ones, the first thing we cut out is gonna be made out of this because I have it. This is some half inch walnut plywood that I've had kicking around for quite a while. So I saved this piece specifically for that reason. So those guys <clears throat> will be cut out of here. Probably just hack off a couple lengths of that. And then this, my top piece that I'm going to hopefully laser cut, if I'm smart enough to figure that out, is gonna be made out of this guy, which I've had. I actually ordered this specific for this project. This is black acrylic. And I think what you do is cut it and then peel this protective layer off, but it's literally just matte black acrylic. So it looks like I've got a couple shots at that. If all goes well. And then for a protective layer, a finish on this, I'm going with this Halcyon Clear. This is a gloss varnish and I only do, I don't love gloss, but the rest of my truck, like all the, you know, the little woodwork doodads, that's all gloss anyway. So I'm just gonna use this. This is what I use on all my workbenches. I know it's super durable, you know, and this thing's gonna get used. So I want something that's gonna stand up. So I'm gonna hack off a couple lengths of this and then trace that stencil out 
and cut that out on the scroll saw, I think. I could probably cut this out on my CNC machine, but I just don't feel like taking the time to set it up. So uh, scroll saw it is. This plywood actually only has one, well, this is walnut too, but this is like the show side. So <clears throat> what I wanna do is actually put ugly side to ugly side. So we have two opposite sides with the good side out when we're all said and done. This is just double-sided tape to stick them together. Okay, cut it out. Sweet, so see what I mean? When these sit in here, that side's walnut, that side's walnut. Oh, this part sucks. All right, so I just sanded these pieces. I am gonna apply this finish right now because I, I've i gotta put, what, four coats I think I'm going for on there. Just to kind of speed up the build process, I'm gonna go ahead and finish at least these two outside panels ahead of time. And that'll just make life a little bit easier when it comes to assembly. So I'm gearing up the laser here. I'm running the, or the Ortor Laser Master 3, and I'm pretty bad at it. So let me see if I can set you up. So one thing I know, I do know this is gonna be smoky. Probably I'm just gonna open a door. I don't have like a good setup for this laser yet, but that's okay. All right, I've got my acrylic sheet. And what's kind of cool about this laser, which I'm clearly not an expert on, you can slide stuff under it. So, you know, if it hangs out a little bit, all good. Okay, well. <laughs> Here goes nothing, I guess. All right, honestly, not that smoky. Like, kind of stinky, but not that smoky. I don't think. No, oh, it's not bad. And it seems to be cutting in the right spot. I guess this will, oh, no, it's not. Son of a gun. Oh, crap. I guess we stop it and shift it over a bit, huh? All right, <laughs> it took me a couple tries. Uh, that was a dud. This is the one that looks like it worked. My pieces are moving around. So let's, uh, let's pop this out of here and see what it looks like. Cool. So I guess we just pop these out of here. This is... The first time I've ever cut <laughs> acrylic with the laser. Actually, it's the first time I've ever cut anything with the laser. Um, I've engraved stuff before, but as you can tell, I'm not the most proficient at it. Sweet, so if I flip it over, I'll take this film off. You can see the color of this stuff. It's like that glossy black you can see where I screwed up, but that's gonna be on the bottom, so I don't really care. 
So there's that. The other thing I cut out was um, just a series of these strips. They're literally just 3 16 holes and a half inch wide. And I'm gonna use that for any kind of trim I need. So that'll go right on the edge to cover up that ply. And then uh, I'll just put screws down through those holes and I think it's gonna have like a cool industrial look to it. So I'm gonna put those aside for now. The next thing I wanna do is, I've got my cup holders here. This is the bottom of this plate. I wanna come in and take some material and build a couple little boxes. One around the catch-all and one around the phone hole. So you're able to drop your phone in and then something catches it. I'm just gonna use CA glue. The thing I have to remember to do is just scuff this surface up to give it something to grab onto. Again, nobody's gonna see this. This is gonna be the underside, so don't worry too much about what it looks like. But just give it some tooth and let's make some little boxes for that. So I am cutting out a couple more pieces on the laser, which I'll show you in a second. My gloss has dried really nice. So we're good to go with these side panels. One thing I wanna do, I cut just some unfinished walnut. Let's see, I've got this piece and I should have. So basically, so this is the side, right? I want to glue on some of these little supports. This one will actually be longer. So one's gonna go around there. One's gonna go around here. And what that's gonna do is basically this top plate's gonna sit on that. Actually, it'll go the other way. This top, this top plate's gonna sit on that first ledge or register as you want if you want to call it that and on the second one is essentially like the bottom of our cup holder which is going to go so again just uh just tight bond if you guys want some of this there is a promo code down in the description it gets you like 10 percent off if you use my code i love this stuff so let's glue those on and then we can probably start screwing this thing together So this guy's gonna sit right there, which you're probably like, huh, weird. But when you pop this guy upside down like that, it's gonna look a lot more professional. Just trying to cover up these little boxes I made. So these are just those accent pieces. We're just trying to cover up the edges of that plywood with some more acrylic. All right, now, wait a minute, no. Oh, this guy is gonna slide right in there. All right, here's the, here's the satisfying part. Hoping to be more satisfying than this. Yeah, su <laughs> yeah super satisfying. Real satisfying that, yeah, nice. All right. All right, let's, uh, let's clean it up and take a look.
So I'm loving the way it's come out so far. I did bung up the side there when I was screwing this down. So probably what I'll do is I'm gonna have to take it apart in two halves, basically. I'll unscrew this side and then slide it in and then bolt it back together because it doesn't, uh, it, it fits a little too tight to like slide in. And then I think once I have it in place, I will hit it with one more coat of this polyurethane. But yeah, I, I dinged it up a little bit. But, uh, and I also wanna hit this piece of walnut with another coat, so. It is what it is. All right, there's that guy. Would have loved for this to be able to slide in, kind of like, like in like this, but not gonna be the case, unfortunately. So we're just gonna have to do it in two pieces here. All right, now for the fun part. Clean this thing off one more time. This thing is not gonna stay clean because it's that glossy acrylic, but hey, we can, tr we can try, right? So this guy should be, yeah, see? It's like a quarter inch tight. And the reason behind that is we're gonna press out when we insert this and that's what's gonna hold it in place because it's putting pressure down where your feet go. See that? So it's putting pressure because it's pushing out this way, it's pushing in down there and that's what's giving us our holding power for it to stay in place. Slide it forward. There, it's pretty solid actually. All right, now the real moment of truth here. Okay, that still closes, that's good. How about this guy? Boom. <laughs> Sweet, I'm happy with that. <sighs> Have to work, boys. It's a shame there's no spot. Oh, look at that. Bingo. All right guys, I've been using this thing for, I don't know, about a week at this point and I honestly couldn't be happier. It's getting a little bit scratched up here and there, but uh, I mean, that just kind of is what it is. That's a, that's a truck accessory for you, so. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this build. If you have any questions or comments on how you would have done it, let me know down in the comments. I read them all and I really appreciate the feedback. Do me a favor and like this video. It helps out a lot. And I don't know, even if you hate it, leave me. <laughs> no, no, no. All right, we will see you next time.